Hi there guys, it's Kakui Cars here and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something quite cool and special. I found this box on a Gumtree advert um, a couple of weeks ago now and I've actually already tried to film this video once and it turned into a 30 minute monster that I don't think anyone's going to want to sit through. So what I've done is I've gone through the box that I got from the Gumtree listing and I have sorted it all out. Now the reason I went for this listing in the first place is because it was quite cheap and I could see some decent cards um, and I did not realise that I was getting this many cards. So I'm just going to go through and show you some of the highlights. Okay, so the first thing that caught my eye was the amount of Tox cards that were in this box. There were a lot and um, this is just one of the stacks and these are all of the regular cards. So there's no shiny ones in here. It's all just normal cards from the top set and you've also got the tops list there. We also have hollow tops cards in here as well. Let's see if I can quickly go through some of these. So all your shinies so many I did not realize there was this much cool stuff in here oh and also the episode shiny ones um, just absolutely crazy so much cool stuff in here okay so then we also have the um, more movie cards and also episode cards I won't go through all of those so what's left in here then? So we've also got um, about 1,000, take these out, about 1,900 um, cards ranging from base set all the way through to, um, I think the Ruby and Sapphire, but mainly it's Jungle, Fossil and um, base set in here. And quite a few duplicates. Um, whoever I got this from must have just been a really avid collector because there's just so much stuff in here and obviously usual loads of bulk energies so yeah about 1,900 um, the reason why there's some upside down is because I ordered it into 100 so I could count it all so originally when I made this video I was going through every single card and that is just I, I didn't realise just how much bulk there was so absolutely insane 1900 cars there and um, I'm still trying to decide what to do with them all right so what was absolutely incredible was that when I was sorting through the cards I did think that there might be enough um, to complete the tops set and there was absolutely crazy so from that gum tree listing which I didn't pay very much for I have a complete top set and this is the first top set that came out so I'm just going to quickly go through all in not too bad condition either. Slightly worn around the edges, but mostly in perfect condition. Either the person didn't know they had the complete set, or I don't really know why they would get rid of it for such a such a cheap price. Um, and we also get the full picture there with all the cards together. Really nice. And also, in addition to that. There were also hollows in this box. Now, these hollows are not in a good enough condition for me to either sell on or trade, but they are nice enough to keep. So, I'll just show you these. As you can see, you've got some pen marks and damage on them. Very happy about the Vaporeon. I've wanted that card for such a long time. So I'm just keeping them in this binder just for now while I decide what I'm going to do with them. But uh, absolutely awesome. And also just in here we've got more random sleeves and also some 20th anniversary, uh, sorry, 10th anniversary cards. And these were in fantastic condition. Very pretty. Really like them. Right, so coming back to a slightly more normal angle, um, 
we did get those hollows which are absolutely fantastic and there's also some cards in here that um, I personally just found quite interesting or I like the Pokemon a lot so I've kept them as well so these are cards that I'm just keeping from this box and um, let's split it into two halves so we've got a Swallot and the hollow is peeling away um, but I found it quite interesting to see what the foil is actually made of you can see there it's got some moons and stars on it so not in fantastic condition but still a pretty card to look at okay so we also have Pineco Dark Energy Welma Solrock Reverse Lotad a Reverse Star Raptor Hollow Slowbro Hollow Bell Sprout, a Reverse Hollow Crabby in a very nice condition, a EX Emerald Snorrent, a Japanese Weeper, and an English Weeper. Collecting that from one of my friends. Um, we've got some Japanese trainers. I thought I'd pull them out just because they're quite interesting. I haven't seen them before. A vile plume, I'm not really sure what's going on with this one. Um, it's 15 out of 64, which means it would have been a hollow, but it's not. I'm not convinced this is real, but it. I don't know. Not really sure what to make of that. Um, then we've got Pidgeot, Wigglytuff. These are just some rares that I wanted to pick out as well and just add them to my collection. Victory Bell. Butterfree that I've been looking for for a long time and of course Eevee and some other cards that I took out were this Japanese Todal, Japanese Swine Up, Oddish with its Japanese counterpart, a Bayleaf, Spinock, Spinder, Spinder, yes, um, Cubone, Pikachu, Really cute Charmander from Rocket, along with a Dark Vaporeon. I absolutely love Articuno, so I have to take this card out as well. We've got a um, promo from the first movie there. A Dark Charizard non-hollow. Japanese Chinchu. Another Vaporeon, I think you can tell. And Charmander. I think you can tell what my favourites are. Centret. Japanese um, Stantler. A very pretty Mew card, Mew Reader card. Creases, so again the condition's not too brilliant, but they are, again, just nice to look at. Misty's Goldeen, Misty's Psyduck, Misty's Tentacle, Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite, Sabrina's Abra, Lieutenant Surge's Rattata, Koga's Pidgey, Sabrina's Abra, Sabrina's Jinx, a Dark Blastoise from Rocket, and Blaine's Charmander, and Dark Dragonite. So the next cards that I'm going to be showing you are what I pulled out to be sort of the best of the bunch um, in terms of being able to either trade them on, sell them on, make some money from what I have purchased. So the first card we have is a Bulbasaur. It's a clear tops card. I haven't actually seen these before, so that was quite a nice surprise. We also have um, a Pikachu version of that as well. Very cute. Next up is the Dark Dug Trio Hollow from Rocket. And again, it's not in too bad a condition either. That's quite nice. Um, I then picked out this Wobbuffet. It's in fantastic condition. I was quite surprised actually when I found it um, in really really good condition. We also have Rocket Scyther as a hollow. And the last card that I picked out from this massive box of cards is this Dark Charizard from the Rocket set. Very very chuffed to have got this one. I did see it um, sort of poking out underneath some of the other cards in the picture on the Gumtree advert. So um, 
I thought I might be able to get some money back just by having this guy. And uh, yeah, not too shabby with the condition. Right then guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Please let me know if you have and uh, if you want me to look for more things like this. Um, it was very exciting for me to go through and it's always a bit scary when you buy a listing because you're never quite sure if you're going to be able to get a return. Um, but luckily um, there seemed to be a fantastic amount in here. I mean, just getting the full tops collection was a, a really nice surprise and um, the cards in front of me hopefully should um, cover the cost of the box I purchased and I've still got 1,900 um, cards of bulk that I need to try and figure out what to do with. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!